Gentlemen, 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 what the f are you doing? We've talked about this. I'm, I'm sorry for getting so upset. I just try really hard to help you put your best, most stylish foot forward. I look around and see what some of you are still doing and it, it hurts my feelings for you. You're totally killing and sabotaging your smooth, sexy game, gentlemen. For that reason, today I'm going over my top seven men's style don'ts. As in ever, never, under no circumstances should you be doing number one, which is wearing big oversized suits. <laughs> Oh, I can't stand The sad reality is that the majority of people who work in men's stores that sell suits have absolutely no idea the way that suits should fit you. Um, you're like a 43 regular. Your suit is there to give you a nice, snug, stylish hug. My grandma used to. Style don't number two is wearing a regular fit dress shirt. Gentlemen, here's the deal. I hear it from so many guys who are like, I can't wear slim fit because I kind of got a belly. I want to be comfortable. Gentlemen, here's the deal. Slim fit does absolutely under no circumstances mean tight. It simply means that instead of the normal box cut, like every off the rack standard fit dress shirt does, it's actually tapered a little bit, comes in at the waist. The result, you're gonna look taller, more muscular. You're still gonna be able to rock it even if you got a gut. Style don't number three is wearing pants that are too long. Nothing that makes a dude look shorter, dumpier, and less stylishly attractive than he could be otherwise if he didn't do number three, which is wearing pants that are too long. <laughs> what? Pants that are too long are the first thing you can address in order to create the illusion that you are taller, lovelier, more super lean and fantastic than you actually are. Men's style don't number four, wearing horrible shoes. So what constitutes horrible shoes? Do your shoes look cheap, dated, and or dorky? Gentlemen, you're doing yourself and your style a disservice, my friend. Step up and into a more stylish pair of kicks. Number five, dudes wearing mom jeans. Did you like that camel toe action? Yeah. Sorry about that. Gentlemen, here's the deal. I see so many dudes that are like, yo, hey, and they're walking. <laughs> Actually, I don't say them like that, but I see dudes walking around and they're rocking mom jeans. Otherwise, incredibly attractive, stylish dudes, but the jeans, <laughs> they're like a regular rise. I'll do number six, wearing black socks with brown shoes. Dude, black socks match with everything. With all of the different varieties of fun, fancy, fabulous, actually, yes, fabulous, funky socks out there on the market, you can play around, mix, match, have fun, coordinate, compliment. You don't even really have to match, but the black, jet black sock definitely looks horrible with brown shoes. And when in doubt, match your socks to your pants. You'll be good. And last, but probably should be first, style don't number seven a worn out, tired ass belt. Does your belt look like this? Marked, marred, maybe some holes put on the end. You're like, yeah, it's a little bit loose. I've lost more weight. There's so many guys who don't pay any attention to their belt. They're like, it's a belt. It holds my pants up. Who cares? Wrong. Gentlemen, there are better ways out there. I actually did a video. I think it was my seven essential summer Summer seven summer essentials. I told you about the Anson belt. Check this out. I have gone nuts for Anson belts. I first heard about them because they came to StyleCon, and everybody was like, "Yo, did you get an Anson belt?" I'm like, "No," and I went and I actually tried one. A ton of different buckles. You've got matte finishes. You've got shiny finishes. It's pretty much genius. You've got two belts here, right? One I have sized, and one I actually haven't. They all come the same size, and all you do to size it, you pop the back. Boop, it comes out. You put it on, the little track is right there. Thread it through the buckle. I'm gonna want it right about there, all right? And you measure right there, boom, bingo, bango. Take your scissors. Once it's reattached, it's ready to rock. All you do is thread it through. Hear that? Yeah, those are the micro adjustments. Bang and you're set, no holes. And then when you're done and you wanna take it off, there's a little button on the bottom, hit it, 
and you're out. These belts rock so hard, I figured I should tell you about them. Guys, I don't have a special code, nothing like that. There is a link down below, or just type in Anson Belts and grab yourself one. The cost is 50 bucks, but you can buy three belts, or what is it, three straps, two buckles, for like under $100. That's the best deal. They've got a zillion different fabrics, they've got leather, they've got different colored leather, le le leather. Leather, they're an incredible company and a great product. This is a crime of fashion. Gentlemen, that's it. I'm done now. I don't need to freak out. I'm sorry for getting upset. I'm just so passionate about helping you eliminate all of the potential negatives that somebody could see. I want you to be incredible. And if you feel good, you look good, everything starts to fall into place. Gentlemen, it's about confidence. Get you some.